YouTubers, Brian Proctor back here again, and I've decided to do another animal picture, a dog, a little weenie puppy that I actually have in front of me. So let's draw this, and I'll try to show you guys step by step on how to do it if you have a picture or something in front of you that you want to draw. First of all, I'm looking at his head, and his head is kind of uh, uh, pear-shaped, upside-down pear-shaped. So almost kind of like a light bulb, too. When I draw, I usually look at the main parts of a picture and determine what, what's the best shape of it. What, is, what does that shape resemble? So this one, I would say more like a pear shape. And then I would bring it down. Let's say his eyes are about, his eyes are about right here. They might go up or down a little bit, but just for the sake of this. And let's just put a circle for now. Right now, he's looking like an alien, but we'll get him to look like a dog in a second. And then his eyes will come down to his snout, which comes out. And he is looking like an alien. So, let's say the bottom of his mouth. We'll do that center line from here up. And his lip comes like this, like a smiley face almost. bottom just like that so let's get the nose so the nose is the front nose is an oval shape and the very tip of the nose is the oval shape and then it goes back kind of like this and that's almost like doing a, a M shape a weird shape of an M and then it goes down in the front two holes like so and now it's starting to look like a dog I promise you he would look like a dog eventually so it goes something like that and then at the top he has these little lines so get this here and that so it actually bulges like that. So we have one bulge out and then it goes in. So let's, let's do we have that. It actually has a second here. And then up and then up. So let's say his eyes, because he's a puppy, he has little droopy eyes bring that out and then the shape of his eye and animals have the same kind of slit that humans have it just might be a little bigger it's always like a football shape like a football yeah we've all drawn footballs so kind of like that but one end might be wider than the other end or one end will be wider than the other end here and then here and usually puppies have bigger eyes and that's a little crooked <clears throat> so let's do this and a tip I can see that's wrong a tip I give to a lot of young artists is when you're drawing to be able to see your picture differently, turn it upside down and you'll get a whole new perspective so I can see just how far that other eye is off. This is why you always draw with a pencil, start out with a pencil and you do a light, you do it lightly. So let's curve that up, this up and down. Turn it upside down again. It's a lot better. It's still off just a little. We'll go with that for now. I don't want to spend so much time drawing the eye. And then over the eye, he has the big puppy wrinkle. And then here, he's kind of looking angry. But when we do the eyes, put the eyes in, he won't really look angry. That. 
another one there. Let's bring this face in just a little bit more. Straight up right about here and in right about here. Keep that. Now he's got big floppy ears that come out down. So you want to go out down and you want to curve around. Same thing here. It's going to go out, down, and curve around. This guy too comes up, down, up, and curve around. Let's bring this down to match the other ear. And you see the bottom. Actually, we'll bring it a little higher. Like so. Do his eyes. And a light source. And whenever you do a reflection of a light source, you want to keep it. Uh, in the same spot as the other side. You don't want one up and one down. Now he's looking less angry. It's the eyes that do it. Now, this comes in. This would be black. He's looking mean again, so let's take that out. But it does, it's mostly, this is color inside that gives him that color. So, we have this. And it gives him that little shape to his muzzle. This would be more flat. Let's bring this out a little bit more. And then he has color here. And same under here. This is this is light and this is dark. As I say, the color determines a lot of shape to the dog. Just like this, the part that made him look mad. That would be color too. Let's do a little something with his nose, detailed, up, that center line, it stops, and then you have the same way with the other dog, Z. Let's flatten his mouth out a little bit more. Ask 
nicely. Flatten it out and bring it up some. Since he is a puppy, So, and as I, as I said, there's a lot of shadow in it. And this is the top of his ear that comes down, and there's a lot of shadow in here. And Over his eye, there's a dark Where did I get this eye? His eye is here. It'll be brown. And then he has just let's just do a quick little body for him. It's a quick little wrinkly body. Body goes back and then around. There's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Comes around and he has wrinkles because he's, as I say, he's still a puppy. He's got little claws. Claws, would that be considered claws on a dog? Or would it be called something else? And then there's a lot of shadows. This is a wrinkle. It goes down. It's another wrinkle that comes up. There's a wrinkle here, a wrinkle here, and here. And as I say, he's a puppy, so he's got a lot of wrinkles. And let's just do this real quick. This is kind of just bonus right here that I'm doing, coloring. This wrinkle comes up and to his paw, and this is black. And another one comes up here. And you have this. To sit around here and down the back here and underneath and I hope this was all in camera footage because I did move it a little bit but there you have your quick puppy, your wiener dog puppy. That 
that came out. And let's give them a little bit of whiskers. Let's do this first. Let's, let's, there's always more to a picture. Let me curve this around. Set this one coming down, this is coming down, and let's get him some little teeny whiskers. Because he is a dog, and he's got some coming off here too. So I want to work with these eyes because I'm an eye nut. It's an artist thing. And then it's black under here comes down this black under here because that's that's what makes a dog cute is his eyes or any animal and so There you have a little wiener dog puppy. And I think I did go off camera as well. So there you have it. All right. I see you guys later in the next video. All right. Take care. All right, guys. This is a bit of a bonus here. When I look back at the drawing, I saw that I was off camera while I was drawing some of it. So I'm kind of making it up by inking and coloring it for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it and yeah, enjoy.